Musa alayhi salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that when he was a young man, he had a very traumatic incident, a very unfortunate incident that occurred. Musa alayhi salam, young man, grows up in the palace of Fir'aun, but he does know that he's from Banu Israel. He's walking through the marketplace one day, and there's a man from Banu Israel, simple poor man, and he sees Musa alayhi salam, and he cries out, and he says, Musa, Musa, look at this guy, look what he's doing to me. And it was a man from the people of Fir'aun, the Qibtiyun, used to persecute and violate the rights of the people of Banu Israel. So Musa Ali Sam goes there and tells the Qibti, what are you doing? What's going on over here? And the Qibti, of course, he's part of the elite. He tells him, he goes, why don't you move along and mind your own business? And Musa Ali Sam says, oh, I'm trying to make sure everything is okay here. And the man turns around and gets in Musa Ali Sam's face. Like, what are you going to do about it? So Musa alayhi salam to kind of defend himself, he pushes the man, he strikes the man, shoves him off of him, not realizing it is his own strength due to an unfortunate circumstance, the man ends up dying. Either due to the blow or because of the fall, he ends up dying. Now, it was not intentional, nobody really else was around. That man from Banu Israel, he runs off and Musa alayhi salam leaves the scene as well. And before you know it, this whole panic breaks out into the city, into the town. Somebody killed one of the elite. Somebody killed one of the people of Fir'aun. Nevertheless, Musa alayhi salam is passing through the marketplace again soon thereafter. Again, that man from Banu Israel is standing there fighting with somebody. Musa alayhi salam sees him and he says, you're making trouble again? Meaning that last time you were making trouble, something so terrible happened and you're making trouble again? And the man screams out, Musa don't kill me like you killed the other guy the other day. And everyone finds out that Musa alayhi salam was involved in the accidental death of that man. Fir'aun and his people put out the word to arrest with the possibility of executing Musa alayhi salam in retribution for the death of the other individual. At that point in time, somebody comes to Musa alayhi salam and says, you need to get out of town. Musa alayhi salam leaves there. And from there, he goes to Madian, settles down, finds a mentor, finds a wife, raises a family, really, really figures things out. And he's out there for a very long time, 10 years or so. Now Musa alayhi salam is traveling. That's where he sees the fire in the distance and he goes there. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala selects him and chooses him for prophethood. Gives him divine inspiration, revelation. As part of his mission, he tells him, Idhab ila fir'auna innahu tagha. Go to Fir'aun because Fir'aun has lost his mind. He's gone way too far. Musa alayhi salam immediately expresses his concern to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He makes lots of dua. Musa alayhi salam even says to Allah, وَلَهُمْ عَلَيَّ ذَنْبٌ فَأَخَافُ أَنْ يَقْتُلُونَ I am wanted for a sin there amongst those people and I'm afraid that they're going to try to kill me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kalla, فَذْهَبَ بِآيَاتِنَا إِنَّا مَعَكُمْ مُسْتَمِعُونَ He says, no, absolutely not. Go and go with our signs. Go with these miracles and these signs and this message that I have given to you. We are watching and listening over you. Now Musa alayhi salam when he shows up and he presents to him the message inna rasulu rabbil alameen an arsil ma'ana bani israel the very first thing that Fir'aun responds with alam nu rabbika fina walida now I want you to hear the tone didn't you grow up from childhood amongst us and you lived for many many years amongst us wa fa'alta fa'alata kallati fa'alta wa anta min al kafirin and you did what you did back when you did it and you were a bad person you can tell right off the bat Fir'aun is not being honest he's not being sincere, he's being facetious, he's being sarcastic, he's mocking Musa alayhi salam. He immediately brings up his past and talks about his past. Musa alayhi salam of course owns up to it. قَالَ فَعَلْتُهَا إِذَنْ I did do it back then. إِذَنْ وَأَنَا مِنَ الضَّالِينَ But I didn't do it intentionally and I didn't do it knowing what I know now. See, everything Allah tells us in the Quran is profound. It's got a purpose, it's got a meaning, it's got a reason to it. Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala share with us the incident about the man dying from the youth of Musa alayhi salam? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then shared with us the fact that when Musa alayhi salam comes back to preach to Fir'aun, the very first thing that Fir'aun brings up, hangs over his head, rubs in his face, talks about in front of people, is what happened previously in his life, in his past. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us about this because this is going to be something that is going to occur time and time and time again with people. Everyone's got a past. And we're going to have a lot of people who later on in life are going to come into the masjid, come into the community, and they're going to have a past. How are we going to deal with them? If the first thing that we do is talk about, think about, bring up, ask about what happened in their past, the mistakes that they made, 
we just behave like Fir'aun. What's the alternative? The alternative is that we leave their past behind. We don't think about their past, we don't talk about their past, we don't ask them about their past. We most definitely do not criticize them about their past. But rather, what do we do? We embrace them, we love them, and we accept them for who they are right now, right here today. That is the example of Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam embraced people. He accepted people. He did not judge people. Let their past be their past. The story of Wahshi, no matter what he's done, caused such pain to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, assassinated his uncle. But the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the past is the past. And he accepted people for who they were right now, for where they were going, for what they could become, what they could achieve. That's what he paid attention to. That's how he treated them.